It was a violent three days in Jefferson County over the holiday weekend and the long stretch off since Saturday night to right now. Eight people have been shot in Louisville in the metro. You can see right here on our map. It is spread across several different neighborhoods, including Klondike that is right south of uh, Bowman Field. That's where one boy died after three were shot in a parking lot after 1130 Sunday night. Our Ian Hardwit and photojournalist Emma Gefter spoke with a neighbor rattled by the tragedy and one grieving father who hopes the violence will end. One boy is dead after three were shot on Six Mile Lane in the Klondike neighborhood Sunday night. The remaining two victims are in the hospital, one of them with life-threatening wounds. I woke up this morning, turned on the news, and it's one of the first things. I hate it when it comes into my neighborhood, but what can you do about it? Ray Skaggs lives nearby and understands the violence is an outlier. At this point, I don't feel unsafe. That's partly because one gunshot victim was able to leave the scene. Police say they later found him five miles away in St. Matthews. The shooting happened in the front parking lot of Guiding Light Islamic Center, according to neighbors who live nearby, even closer than Skaggs does. While they didn't want to go on camera, they say the young boys shot here were not members of the mosque. Kenneth Forbes, who lost his own son to gun violence in 2012 and helps other parents working through the grief, has a solution. And it's not about policing and locking our, our kids away. And it's about being responsible on social media to make sure we're still loving on our kids and encouraging our kids to do great. As the founding dad of the Kentucky chapter of Moms, Mothers of Murdered Sons and Daughters, he's available for counseling. More families have to step up and say, hey, I need help. That, he says, is the first step in stopping the violence before it happens. While moms handles grief, they also help resolve conflicts. Some of uh, our shooting victims become angry and then this retaliation comes in and uh, we have to just corral ourselves around all victims and say, hey, there's a better way to handle these things. A way that could stop one instance of violence from becoming a cycle of it. In Louisville, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. And Moms, by the way, has an event coming up on August 17th called Walk a Mile in Our Shoes. Members of that group will be sharing their stories there, which they hope will lead to healing and uncovering the root causes of this extreme violence.